According to Ramford, occlusal interferences along with nervous tension triggers which of the following habit? Bruxism, thumb sucking, tongue thrusting or all of the above. Now, whenever there are some occlusal interferences which are coupled along with nervous tension or any kind of stress, this leads to the development of bruxism. Okay, now bruxism is a parafunctional habit. It's a parafunctional habit or a non-functional habit. So, it does not help in any way. Okay, it's a non-functional habit in which the individual grinds or gnashes their teeth. This is usually seen in adults uh, and can also be seen in children. Okay, so this is seen across a wide uh, age group. Okay, so it can be seen in children as well as in adults. So this is mostly triggered by stress. Okay, especially in uh, adults and young children, this is mostly triggered by stress. And when this occurs at night, okay, this is known as nocturnal bruxism. So the individual uh, at night in his sleep, okay, unconsciously will start to grind his teeth. So when such a patient comes to the dental practice, what we will observe is that there is going to be pain across the TM joint. The muscles will be sore and also the teeth in such patients will show abrasion, especially if this uh, bruxism habit was being indulged in for a prolonged period of time. Okay, so if it is related to stress, then stress management techniques need to be advised to the patient. Okay, The immediate relief that can be provided to the patient is by giving some sort of muscle relaxants okay? and also to provide a bite guard. Okay? So especially an occlusal night guard or a bite guard can be given. Okay, So there are two types, they can be either soft or hard. But the basic point of it is to cover the occlusal surfaces of teeth to prevent abrasion. Okay, so we want to prevent abrasion. And it has been noticed that uh, when, they are, when you have given soft night guards, the patient can still continue to uh, indulge in this habit. But when you give a hard night guard, it uh, almost prevents the uh, habit from taking place at night. Okay, So it, these uh, night guards which are given, they not only help to prevent abrasion, but they can also help to overcome the habit. Now, Ramford was the one who believed that there is a connection between any occlusal interferences and nervous tension. So, if there is any occlusal interference, okay, that also needs to be checked. If there is any occlusal interference, then uh, appropriate adjustments will be required to be done in the uh, dentition, right? So, in order to prevent this uh, uh, occlusal interference. So, occlusal equilibration can be done to prevent any obvious interference. But it was Shepard, okay, who recommended that an anterior bite plane can be given. Okay, so similar to a night guard which covers the occlusal surface, he, Shepard, actually recommended to give an anterior bite plane. Okay, so this is going to prevent the contact of the posterior teeth. So the uh, uh, grinding will not occur. And secondly, it will help in the eruption of the posterior teeth which have gotten abraded by this habit. Okay, now this is a very dangerous habit because if it continues unchecked, it could lead to periodontal diseases and also disturbances and pain in the TMJ itself. So this is something that when it is uh, identified or diagnosed, it needs to be treated.